We were at a Japanese grocery store in Vancouver uh, last weekend, and there was a soda that had the Ginyu Force on it. And I was like, what fucking year is this soda from? Or, or are those, like, episodes still airing as if they were new in some places? I mean, I shouldn't be talking. I watched them in Canada in, like, 2002. They probably aired in, like, 1990 in Japan. Yeah. Is that I don't know. Is it that old? Yeah, I guess it would be. That's all you have to add there is... Yeah. 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 Well, okay. Well, the louder right. someone is probably the more important the thing they have to say, so you should probably pay attention. Yeah, like, just yesterday, there was actually a dude at the grocery store who was yelling... Uh, at the cashier because they, he brought a bunch of bottles back and uh, they weren't rinsed and the cashier was like we can't take these it's unsanitary right. and, he, and he was like well you shouldn't put the sign on the freaking door then and you know everyone was like wow, wow. that's a really nuanced and well reasoned point <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the 16 year old cashier was like I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> like it's the grocery store that, that a lot of uh, you know hobos basically go to uh to deposit their bottles so because they closed the, he was like they closed the bottle depot down the street so what am i supposed to do and they're like well we're like a grocery store so i'm sorry yeah yeah okay name a kind of business where you always see customers <laughs> losing their temper uh so they said department store yeah i know like, every time i go to a department store there's always somebody that's pissed off and they're like about nothing. Who gets pissed off in a department store? That's what I'm questioning. It's pretty simple. You got it. There's a tag. It tells you how much you have to pay. You take it to the place where you pay, and you pay for it. You put, yeah. you pay the number on the thing. It sounds simple. Sometimes it's not, though. I don't know how it's. I've never seen anyone. I think lose their temper at a department store. Cause like really? the tag says a number, and then you bring it up, and it says a different number, and then like gotta basically tear your throat out at that point. No, you just say I don't want it anymore, and then you leave. No, it's not that simple. You gotta stick to your guns, or they'll win. <laughs> <laughs> I think ego is like what causes all of this bullshit. It, it happens is. at the grocery store. One time I saw this lady. She like took an egg carton and ripped it in half, so she'd just buy six eggs instead of twelve. But then they like no. scanned the barcode, and it was like the cost of twelve eggs, and she's like. Yeah, but I only have six eggs. What? And they're like, yeah, but, you know, it's like a one-unit thing. And she was like, well, I don't want it anymore. So they had to put the eggs, oh, like, the back in the... They probably just had to throw them out instead. Or make, like, a big omelet or something. <laughs> I hope everyone in the back had a nice omelet. That yeah, me too. That would be nice. Make it a nice thing out of a bad mm. situation. I know what? some places sell six-egg cartons. But the way you buy a six egg carton is not taking a twelve egg carton and then just ripping it in half in the produce aisle or the the freezer fro fridge aisle. What I don't even know what you call it the dairy aisle. The fridge, the fridge aisle. But is this a thing that's happening? Hope fever. Uh, I'm probably not the right dude to ask because I would point. not have necessarily any opinion on this at all. But I'm not aware of it. No. Oh, that's uh, damage. I think the most news that I received today that's like to do with global events is there was like this dude outside the grocery store car his car broke down okay. and he was sitting outside for a really long time with the uh, the hood open. That seems reasonable, which is the, yeah. The international symbol for please help me. Yeah, fair so far. That that's kind of the whole story. That's my news for that's the day. That's it. That happened. That's the news from today. Look, I didn't do a lot today. I woke up and I went and got groceries and I came back and I looked at a bunch of stuff on the internet for a while and now we started the stream. There's like a movie theater close to us, but it only really? gets movies yeah. that are older. So I was like, oh, we could just like, you know, take the SkyTrain over and watch Star Wars. But then the newest movie they have right now is The Martian. And I'm like, shit, I still haven't seen The Martian. Maybe I'll make a trip yeah. to go see that. It's instead. not that new. I know Isn't that it. From like a couple months ago? Yeah, it's from like September or October maybe, but. I also got like That's a free weird. movie ticket, like a buy one get one from a container of Nature Valley granola bars. So I'm like, did you really? I fucking did, man. And I, That's dude, like, you ready for me to double a... down? I, <laughs> yeah. I went into the grocery store and then the Nature Valleys were on sale. So I was like, oh, oh fucking shit. picking those up. And then some of the specially marked ones had the buy one get one movie ticket. And I was like, oh, shit. Wow. So I min-maxed. I got cheap granola bars that also gave me a free movie ticket. I feel nice. like you're very close to breaking the game. Like, you just need a blank card, and you're basically set for life. <laughs> if I got, like, a coupon, I think you could just get an infinite loop there. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you can get a buy one, if you can get a buy one get one Nature Valley granola bars coupon, then that's just, like, you're set, man. Oh, Usually hell yeah. Usually they don't let you combine offers like that, though, so you really lucked out. Well, it was like it was marked on the Nature Valley box. That it was right. uh, yeah, they can't deny buy one, that. get one. So there's no way of denying that, exactly. 
And then, you know, it was on sale at the grocery store. I don't know if you have this ever, but some days I wake up and I'm like, this is one of those days where I'm like, you know, the, the world sort of operates to a specific drum beat. And I'm like, I've always thought that an yeah. eighth off the beat. Right. Yeah. That's the kind of thing where you're like, that's the kind of day where the lady who's checking you out at the grocery store says, hey, you know, enjoy your groceries. And you say, yeah, you too. And then later you go in your car and you just beat your head on the steering wheel and you go, so stupid. She kind of like that, actually. She works at the grocery store. She doesn't give a shit about the groceries. Exactly. She probably hates groceries. She, she probably doesn't buy them anymore. She's got to go. She doesn't go to that store, I'll tell you that much. Disenfranchised from the whole damn option. You know what they so, say. They'd say, don't shit where you work. And if you yeah. buy your food at the place where you work, stop you're shitting where you work everywhere. Yeah, exactly. And also, stop eating shit. Unless you're into that. I mean, I don't mean a kink shame. Right, yeah. Well, you. Probably um, everybody who works at X grocery store likes eating shit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> They're such shit eaters. Uh, so anyway, like uh, I you. was in the grocery store, and the, what made me realize it was one of those days was there was this lady, and everywhere I went, she came around the corner and almost walked into me. It happened like five different times, and it got ridiculous. Right, yeah. I was like, am I not here am i a ghost maybe she's a ghost i somebody was a ghost in this situation and i thought it was me i'm glad you brought up grocery stores because i got a bone to pick man wow yeah man when i went to check out too all i said the dude asked me how i am I'm like i'm good but i'm like kind of hot and he's like yeah i'm gonna tell you about 70 paragraphs of information about the weather now oh hell yeah he had to tell me about the 15,000 houses in maryland <laughs> that got of of the house baratheon away or, i don't know what the hell he was doing but like i just wanted to leave I'm, oh, sorry go ahead tell me your story now i want to put some people on blast so you know what put your blast shields up because i don't want you to get caught in the crossfire just imagine right. i'm in front of a brick wall right now and i'm about to go off we're in these grocery stores they're already it's a two-lane system have you ever been to a grocery store where the aisles are wide enough to fit three carts abreast? I doubt it. Dude, then the one I go to doesn't even really do carts. Wow. It's mostly hand baskets, if wow. you can believe that. Then the Lipton Corporation or the Tetley Corporation come in and they say, hey, you've got a lot of real estate here. Would it be sweet if we put like yeah. a marketing stand full of coupons and sauces right in the middle of your aisle? And the grocery yeah. store says, yeah. I'm a slave yeah, to the that, almighty that dollar. Exactly. They need the Skrilla for Rilla. Thanks for the extract of vanilla. And then, now you got <laughs> this little awkward groceries shuffle. I didn't sign up for dance classes. I just want my red delicious. Now somebody's coming that way. I got to get behind the marketing stand. Then they, oh, yep. sorry. This is the only brand of all-purpose flour I've ever eaten in my life. So I got to stand here for 10 seconds and evaluate the cost per ounce. Hey, man, I'm just trying to get by you and purchase a Baker's chocolate package, okay? It's like, is it a grocery store or are we in, in trenches in war right now? Exactly. And are it's we basic. hiding? <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I lived in a democratic society. Here I am having to wait 10 seconds to pick out my food. It's, it's goddamn ridiculous. I don't know how we even get through the day most of the time. It's like you, you don't just like decide to just get in the middle of a public place and start screaming. It's very difficult to tolerate. It's the worst, man. It's actually And you know it's bad when you're to the point now where you're starting to read things on the shelves that you don't even want to buy at all while you're waiting for shit to That's get the thing. Sometimes in front of you. Sometimes people will just put a cart and then they'll stand on the other side of the aisle and, oh my God. and they'll block both ways. And then you got to be like, okay, I guess I'm really interested in like these 30 different kinds of relish in front of me. No, don't worry, man. I'll wait for you. I hate to do this because I love my mom, but I got to put her on oh, blast no. for this. She is a constant offender of the leave the cart in the middle of the aisle and walk away thing. When moms are no longer immune, you know the gloves are off on the NLSS. Look, man. Like I said, I love my mom, but I move the cart. I move it out of the way for her if I'm there. You got to pay because attention to your surroundings. It's just common courtesy there's people trying to get by. You never know, man. Maybe you see you like a young man and his pregnant wife there. If you take too long in that aisle, they might go into labor, and that's going to be a very uncomfortable situation there. Oh, my there. God. Then we got freaking clean up on aisle four. 
Yeah, I've exactly. seen it. Yeah, you get the the water breaks, right? And truth be told, it's not water. If you've looked into that, no, man, I I have. It's, it's a, uh, the a fountain of hormones of, that bursts. The fountain of youth, I believe, is originally. Uh, yeah, you got to douse your face. As in the it. Spanish called it. That's the uh, high-profile money shot. Oh, absolutely. The lady blast. Just in general, I'm kind of anti-cart. And I use a cart. Sometimes you got to use a cart. You know, you got a lot of stuff. If you go grocery shopping like once a week, you're not like a once every three days sort of person. You got kids, you need a cart. I understand that. But I hate when I, you know, we're, we're in the middle of the aisle. In the middle aisle of the grocery store. And then I look in someone's cart, they got like two things. And I'm like, yo, dude, you're driving an SUV when you just need a Razor scooter. What are they at? They're at the checkout then? Or like, how do you know they didn't just get started? Well, because why are they in the middle aisle? It's, it's absurd. You get your cart, go to the middle aisle. All I want is some breakfast cereal. Well, or, yeah, who, all right. Who's going to start in the middle and then work their way around in increasingly right, large explain. circles in order to... Okay. This is how I know my anxiety is much worse than yours. All right. Because I have been in the position of needing to go to the middle because I had to avoid someone I didn't want to talk to that I knew from 10 years ago that was in the grocery store. So I had to go to the other side of the store until they cleared out. And then you do passes by the checkout lane no, to no, see no, if no. they're in there. There is the the grocery store works like the buffet. You st everybody starts on one end and you rotate around in the Yeah, I'm, I'm abusing that preconception. That's how I'm getting away with the thing I'm doing. I don't want to see you in a grocery store and have you be the guy who starts in the dairy and moves back to produce. You're the guy who's running against the current in this situation. I'm sorry, but I have to make this sacrifice for myself or I can't live. Like, I have to do this. It's very important. I understand. As long as you do this with no cart, I'll accept it. You know, yeah, there's never been a cart involved. All right, that's fair. I hate when people don't understand grocery store etiquette, man. Whenever I see someone moving counterclockwise through the grocery store, I'm like, ah, this is why we need insert political candidate here so that yep. we can That'll change everything. get rid of them, basically. It's like we have an established set of rules. The outside is the highway, and you're going to ride it all trip long, and then you enter the inside clockwise as necessary to pick up the goods that you require. You know you can buy wow. coffee at the grocery store. Yeah, I don't like doing that really. Would you care to explain? You mean buy beans or something and like grind them? Yeah, or you, I mean they yeah. have a grinder at the grocery store usually. Yeah, I, I prefer just to get instant coffee. I know it's shitty, but I just do. I'm not really like, I don't have a great palate. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm I'm not like trying to things. judge you. I'm just, I'm surprised. Yeah. I was at uh, our grocery store, and I, I was intimidated, I'll admit, by the, like, grocery store coffee section that has, like, the grinder and the, you know, it just looks like you should have to take a class before you use that section, right? Yeah, I'm worried I'm going to offend somebody somehow by using it wrong. But, well, let me play into that anxiety, <laughs> because uh, Kate was like, we, we went grocery shopping, like, you know, 10 days ago, and she's like, here, you know, it's just how you use it. Just pick the coffee you want, and then you put the bag up to it, pull down to the nozzle, write the bin number on the on the bag, you're good. So I was like, all right, next time I went grocery shopping by myself, I was like, check it out, I'm OG, I know how to use the coffee section, and then I Where left- Where did Kate pick that up? Well, I don't know, should, someone must have taught her. And then I, uh, I pulled on the nozzle, and then it overfilled the bag and spilled a bunch oh, of no. coffee on the ground. And I tried to close the bag, the bag would not close, so I had to get a second bag and then pour like a third of the first bag into that bag. But then I was like, I can't go up to the grocery cashier yep. with one bag that's stuffed and one bag that's one third full. So then I filled the second bag up until it was basically stuffed as well. And then it was like $22 worth of coffee beans. Yeah, but that's the price you have to pay. That's the tax it's, for it, not wanting to deal with this another way. Exactly. And I would have done the yep. same thing. And in my head, of course, when I went up there, I was like, nailed it. <laughs> she thinks I'm so cool. Look at look at how much coffee this guy drinks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you probably got her number if you would have looked carefully on the receipt. <laughs> Can okay. I tell you my story about the, uh, the grocery store today? Because it was do. really fun. So I was about to go get milk, and there was two people ahead of me. And it was uh, pretty full at the grocery store today. And there was uh, two dudes 
the first dude he had uh he was just shoveling gallons of milk into his shopping cart he had like oh. probably maybe eight or ten of them Ooh. in there just like a ton of milk and the guy behind him was waiting for him to be done getting his milk and he said you should buy a cow and i was standing next to him and i almost just like lost it because he looked like a farmer and i was like maybe this guy knows where he could buy a cow you know what he should buy is uh, the ultimate chicken. <laughs> I knew he was gonna <laughs> say that. And some airline food, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for laughing at that joke. <laughs> well, I already laughed at it when I saw it on Twitter, yeah, so I can't laugh again. I mean, it's like a, it's pretty good, I guess. It's a good joke. Yeah. Dude, I wanted to talk. I was at the grocery store the other day. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you all a question. How many squares are in an advent calendar? Like the enemies from. Uh, no, no, the ones the ones you open up every day in December to get chocolate. Yeah, I, I can't, can't really remember. Are you fucking? Is this a Canadian thing? I think it is. Maybe. Advent calendar. You guys don't it since I was like four. Yeah, I don't think. Well, I okay, I don't know. You guys are in a exactly. weird world because everybody in chat is like twenty four. 24 oh. or 25 because you get one every day of December until either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I was at the grocery store. Oh, okay. I was at the grocery store. They had a Minions uh, advent calendar. They had a Spider-Man <laughs> oh, advent calendar. 31 days. That's bullshit. The advent right. calendar. Like, it's like, you know, in everybody, the uh, or there's something about Mary. Everybody loves Raymond. Everybody yeah. loves Mary. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. Harlan Williams is in that. And he's talking about, like, six-minute abs. And he's like, check it out. I'm going to make five-minute abs. Why would you want to take six minutes to make your abs? Yeah. You can only take five minutes. It's that, but for advent calendars. They're, they're charging <laughs> the same Friday. price, but they're like, check it out. This one goes to New Year's. Why would you get the shitty advent calendar with 24 days when you can get this one? It's got 31. Do these have chocolate in them? Yeah, they all have, uh, like, the shittiest, chalkiest chocolate you could possibly imagine. Yeah, I so, just know yeah. you love the beer advent calendar, so I thought... And those are that. 24 days. Because, I mean, how are you going to make a case... With 31. It just doesn't... You, you, you can't carry that home from the store. The last time I went to the store, uh, just like two weeks ago, I had a homeless guy try to, like, guilt me into giving him food. Yeah. And that... I guess that's yeah, more happen. common than I give it credit for, but, well, like, it never happened to me before. And he was just, like, he looked at my cart, and I had bought, like... Wait, there was a homeless guy in the store? Yeah, he was in the Walmart. Um, and, uh, he was waiting in line, but I don't think he had anything to buy. I think he was just trying to get stuff, basically. Right, yeah. Um, and he, uh, he looks at my cart, and I, I bought a lot of food, because I buy for, like, the month, because I hate shopping. Sure, okay. Um, and he's like, you got a lot of food there. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, It'd be wow. a shame if something happened to it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, it's, uh, it's food. Uh, he's like, a lot, of, a lot of ice cream there, too. You gonna eat all that? Like, he wanted ice yeah. cream? Well, he, I think he was just picking out the ice cream because I think I had bought a visually absurd amount of ice cream, but in reality, wait, well, okay, wait, wait. How much ice cream did you get, though? Okay, here's the. This is important. Stepsister and all the stuff he stole. No, but but this this changes things because if like if he's just making conversation, you got like I don't know two pints of ice cream. That's one thing. If you got like a cart full of ice cream, this guy's very in the right right now in this conversation. I had like, so I I usually buy like six pints. That's for a month. That's not even that much ice cream. That's three um, liters of ice cream. I had bought. F well, I mean, it's a month. But anyway, I bought four. Look, uh, you're not getting out of this. Buy. I bought six because I bought two vanilla, two chocolate, and I was gonna get two uh, butter crunch or whatever it's called, which is like a butter finger kind of ice cream. And uh, they didn't have any of the pints of it. They only had the gallon. So I was like, this is my favorite flavor. I'm not going without. Butter crunch, so I got the gallon. Of <laughs> yeah, no, food. I understand. I'm not going without butter crunch. <laughs> so I had the gallon with like the four pints stacked on top. So visually, it looked like a lot of ice cream. But it no, really like, like from a volumetric standpoint, it doesn't look like a lot of ice cream. It is a lot of ice cream. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. It's a market degree of ice cream. I mean, I only like had like three of the pints in the past two weeks, so... I'm not judging you like that much. I mean, you do you shop for a like month, but like, me. I'm just saying that's like... That's more ice cream than I've ever purchased in my life, without a doubt. Well, I, I buy for the month, man. I buy for the month. And I didn't mean to buy that much. I just, I wasn't going home without butter crunch. That was... <laughs> you think that homeless guy's going home without butter crunch? He, he went home without butter crunch. Once yeah, he realized right, I wasn't yeah. going to give him any food, he started like harassing the lady that was in line next to him. Mm. Oh, lovely. Uh, Wait, Ryan, why were there like a million people in your grocery store today?
Dude, I don't know. I was stunned. Like, I, I guess it's because it's the first day that the holiday hours are over. So people were like, well, I should have bought groceries yesterday, but now I'll go out today. But it was actually like, we'd be like, hey, you want some cereal? Sorry, can't go down that aisle. Like, how bad do you want the cereal? Because there's 45 people clogging up the aisle trying to, like, look at the freaking nutritional facts. That's weird. It was crazy. Did you tell them to get out? I didn't tell them to get out, but there were some times where I, like, you know, people would, like, bump into me with their cart, and I'd give them a look, like, dead in the eye. Like, what is wrong with you? Like... Where's the humanity? Exactly. Or, like, a lady would, like, push her stroller into the cart and then look at me, and I'm like... So, dude, I'm not moving. I need apples. Have you ever had someone take your cart before on accident? No. This happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Like a month ago, I was shopping and I, I stopped my cart to like look at a selection of, I don't even, I think they were trying to Probably ice cream, can. let's be honest. No. <laughs> I was trying to get a trash can. And uh, and this lady, like she walks up and she's like looking at the other side. Oh, like, Jesus. Bags or something. Oh, and she just like she's done. She she picks up a thing, put, puts it in my cart, and then walks off. And I was like, oh, excuse me. And this then she cart. bought all of your groceries and went home. I mean, no, she apologized and gave my cart back. But you know, like, you mean, look at the cart you're taking, you know? But it wasn't because she like, she's like this guy. I like what he's putting down. He got the I mean, last butter wanted, crunch like, in the store. I, I had gotten like toothpaste and shampoo at that point. That was at my moment in the store. So it was a very empty cart. So I think that's why the mistake was made. But... Oh, you got to put a sign on it then. <laughs> the sign said, please refrain from taking Austin's cart because he got all <laughs> the butter crunch. Dude, I'm almost out of butter crunch. I got one more, one more serving left of butter crunch. I have to go to the store and get more. Wait, what? Yeah, don't you, get, don't get this guy. Josh, how much ice cream do you purchase on an annual basis? Like maybe two Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, the whole like, year. What? The whole yeah. year? I'm with yeah. you, dude. That's what incredible. You, I don't you just hate ice cream. I, I never purchase ice. If if we're out and Kate's like, hey, there's like an ice cream shop. You want to have an ice cream? I'm like, yeah, give me a waffle cone. Who doesn't like a waffle cone? But I'm never like going to the grocery store being like, I need to get ice cream. Huh? What you picking up? Usually keep a container in the fridge like pretty much all the time. <laughs> I. Uh... <laughs> No, like Kristen, Kristen likes popsicles, so I'll get mm. her like popsicles if I'm like out at the grocery store or something like that. I don't eat a whole nice. lot of them, if any. <laughs> There's a couple of things I'll never, uh, I just never buy at the grocery store. One is definitely ice cream. But like, why? You just don't like it? No, I mean, it's just like, it's I don't like, I don't. It's as expensive as you think. I don't like <laughs> it enough to justify <laughs> like that it's unhealthy for me. Yeah. It's not that unhealthy. You can, you, you can. <laughs> Is there a have like <laughs> through a the bowl sword. of ice cream a week? And no, I agree with that. Good. But like, I, I would rather spend, you know, my guilt food budget on something else. You know, what's your guilt food of choice then, if not ice cream? Oh, like any kind of fried meat. Uh, that's not that unhealthy though. Fried meat? Well, I'm saying like like a corn dog. No, like, uh, you know, if you got, like, a like five-piece chicken, chicken chicken strips meal or something like that. Mm. Really rich Fuck ramen. Oh, rich ramen, hell yeah. Too much sushi. A few Ooh. IPAs, you know, stuff People like that. chatter like, oh, ice cream's so unhealthy, what are you talking about? Yeah, so healthy if you have, like, a bowl a day or something. You know, be reasonable. It's just a little bit of sugar, man. Pace yourself. You can enjoy life. You don't have to have everything all the time, man. Pack Crack's not, not that days. bad for you. Just have but a I rock now and then. When people are like, hey, if a, if a truck is going 60 kilometers an hour and then it stops, <laughs> it, it applies the brakes that have this many newtons of force, and the road is this friction coefficient. I like that. But then when, yeah. the, when the professor's like, so Schrodinger's cat, and everyone's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> is it alive or dead? I don't know. Let me buy a t-shirt with that dilemma on it to show my nerd cred. That's when I'm like, no thanks. Does that count as quantum physics or is it just straight up philosophy? I was making the, the motion of jerking off in here, Kate. <laughs> Did she walk by and was pissed she, she walked by and thought I was actually jerking it. <laughs> oh, the analyst says she thought you were jerking it. Wouldn't, wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, you know, I'm, God, I'm glad God. that if you were doing that, her initial uh, like decision would be to call you out on. Yeah, it I know, right? In like, front of thousands of people. <laughs> but never let it, never let it be said that I don't have like dedication to the show. I was doing the jerk off motion. <laughs> 
for the joke in which I made the jerk off <laughs> phrase. Oh, oh, man. It ever again for you. <laughs> Crusty jugglers. <laughs> Also, in that moment, she brought me chicken nuggets, so... Hey, that's oh, nice. that's, I told you I'd done lovely. enough good deeds to get some fried meat today. I... Oh, 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 no! So did he make a website like they have for Is Rob Gonna Be on the NLSS that's for Is Ryan Jerkin it and it just says probably? <laughs> You'd be surprised, man. <laughs> he does jerk off a lot. You'd be surprised. <laughs> It's Would I though? You. Like, what's a surprising amount of jerking off per day? Two. Four. Anything above two is probably too much. Yeah. Day, right. Yeah. If I talk to somebody and they're like, I jerk off twenty times a week. That's about the time where I'd be like, you should, like, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you to live your life. There's worse vices, but let me slow down a little bit, see how it treats you. You run the math though. What's the most you've done in a day? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> is that too personal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People are saying four in chat, like, you guys gotta work harder, man. Come on. You man. don't have to. Oh. Though. After you four, you're in danger of damaging your goods, though. That's well, not true. Yeah, but that's if you're going, like, four back to back. We're talking about in a 24-hour <laughs> period. <laughs> I don't know if you should take anatomical yeah. advice from this man. It's the same principle as, as watching uplifting media. Like... You just no. short circuiting your brain, dude. You give yourself a little treat now and then. I'm not saying you can't have some ice cream after dinner. I'm just saying, but if you're like, I eat ice cream for every meal, don't tell me how to live my life. Why are you treating us like dogs? <laughs> and do a little trick to get something, <laughs> apparently. I also am kind of uncomfortable with uh, the idea of masturbation being called a little treat. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I shouldn't have brought up the ice cream metaphor to Austin. It took him over the edge. <laughs> you came just now? When you when they came for my butter crunch. <laughs> that's when I... I that's that's when much I of the story that didn't have it, and I was really mad. Is, is there anything more to that story? Like, just, nah, yeah, like what it, you, I was just mad. Did you, did you talk to somebody about it? Did you go, hey, do you guys have any butter crunch in the back? Yeah, let me go to Walmart and ask someone for some butter crunch ice cream. It's a great idea. Should've Why would you? Strongly oh, because so no one at fucking Walmart skin. wants someone coming up to them being like, hey, I know you hate your fucking life and like just want to go home right now, but could you go to the back room and give me some ice cream? I have a, at least some respect. They're, they're there to serve you. No, they're there to fucking do their jobs. They don't have it. They don't have it. Move on with your life. There's You're... nothing at Walmart that's so important you need to go ask. Woo, hold on. Something. What if they have it in the back, dude? They, they, I mean, I was at the grocery store on Monday, and I needed some batteries, and I couldn't find them. So I talked to this lady, and I was like, hey, well, excuse me. I didn't say, hey, lady. That'd be pretty rude. But <laughs> hey, say, lady, lady. Yeah, I said, excuse me, where's the batteries? Or do you have batteries? And she was like, oh. And then she took me to an <laughs> aisle that had a sign that literally said batteries on it. And I was like, you know what? I deserved that sigh. <laughs> I clearly could have done more to meet you in the middle here. But you didn't know you deserved it until it was too late. Exactly. I mean, I walked down the aisles and I was like, Ooh. I mean, they were in the aisle with like bulk nuts. So I was like, I'm, I just discounted when I walked by that yeah. aisle. I was like, I'm not going out. There's bulk nuts. I'm looking for batteries. I'll grant you, it could be near toiletries and paper towels. That's as close as batteries. No, it, yeah, I know. Money. That's where I looked, but it was on the other side of the grocery store. The thing about Honestly, Walmart too is that like if you can't find something, it's your own fault. Every Walmart is laid out almost exactly the same. Everything is that the same. really true though? Yes. The only time Walmarts are different is that they're flipped. They'll usually be mirrored, but for the most part, they're all in the same oh, area. I died really to fuck it. That was true. <laughs> <laughs> so I not to get off of the water um, conversation this early, but I had another grocery store anecdote. Oh, and it's a it's a good one. It doesn't have to do with the deli counter, although I was standing pretty close to the deli counter when it happened. So before we begin with this anecdote, I just want you to in your head and then out loud with your mouth, uh, come up with the stupidest question you could possibly ask to a staff member at a grocery oh. store. Uh, do you have food? Okay, now take it one step less dumb. <laughs> Just one step slightly less dumb than that. Where do you keep your food? You're so close to the actual <laughs> part was of this, this story. Was this We're, food refrigerated? No, no, that's that's actually too intelligent for this com <laughs> where, for, for this where, anecdote. Where do you keep the candy? You are so close. Okay, so I have, was. Oh yeah, wait, wait, please, please. No, no it sounds no, no, like no. you're close. It sounds like you're close. I was gonna say, do you have like the bread 
Uh, can you make me a sandwich? Okay, basically. that's wrong direction, but that, still though. pretty close. Um, <laughs> I was in the grocery store, and I was hanging out, like, in the deli section near the front door. Lady walks in. Doesn't look around at all. Just walks in. <laughs> like, looks at the security guard and goes, Hey, you guys sell carrots here? <laughs> and I just, like, looked over. Like, is this a human being from the planet Earth? <laughs> is that like a, a wait, mega? Wait, again? Uh, do you guys sell carrots here? <laughs> it's like the biggest grocery store, one of the biggest grocery stores I've ever seen in my whole life. The carrots are in view. You know, you walk into the grocery store, you got the yeah, produce like the right there. Right. Exactly. Right. No, no, you know, impetus to look for carrots. Probably like the third most common vegetable consumed in North America. Wait, you have a security guard? Yeah. At the, your the grocery what? store that we occasionally go to, like there was a there was a police incident like two days ago. That took me like a solid, what thirty seconds to process that you said security <laughs> guard. I mean, Walmart has a security we, uh, guard, but it's just like an old eighty year old lady. At some of our stores <laughs> close by. Anyway, the dude is like, yeah, we we got carrots. They're right there where the carrots always are. Like if you've ever been into a grocery <laughs> store, they're in you know the the refrigerated vegetable section. There's like 40 different kinds. She's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> Maybe she went to another store that didn't have I carrots don't... and was so amazed. <laughs> That they didn't have carrots that she just had to ask begrudgingly. Well, yeah, like maybe they lied to her at the other grocery store. Well, that's that's that was it. That was what, it. They lied. That's what jumped to my mind as well was that she had gone on a quest to find carrots because it reminded me of like people looking for the Nintendo Wii. Right. And okay. they just walk into a place and immediately ask, do you have the thing? Like, was she out of luck in many other options for carrots and this is the place? I mean, what did she do like, after that? She's did been she get looking for carrots all over the place. Like she's been told no so many times that every time that she goes, yeah. wants carrots. Like she has to ask. Yeah, all right, I'm down with that. Did she I, go get carrots? I mean, I didn't follow her around the store, oh, you but followed her. <laughs> I mean, I intersected with her a few times, and she seemed like a relatively normal human being. Which no, not true. So as far as I, I'm concerned, yes. the synthetic skin that the aliens are using to infiltrate our society is working really <laughs> well. It's like. There's just a couple of things, like batteries are one thing. When I asked the grocery store clerk, I was like, hey, you got batteries? And they're like, yeah, they're in the battery aisle. I was like, okay, I'm dumb, and you're right. I should have, like, looked more before we got into this situation. There's no question about that. You got me. But you could perceive of a situation in which a grocery store would not have batteries. Yeah. I would expect I mean, them to. Pretty rare. I, I would expect them to have batteries, but if they didn't, I'd be like, okay. You're a food store. I, I, I get yeah. it. Yeah. But to not have carrots is like, you may walk in and like ask if they have bread or something it's like that. It's the second simplest vegetable next to lettuce. Oh, the most logical one you could ever ask a grocery store if they don't have would be light bulbs. Mm, yeah, actually, we bought light bulbs yesterday and I was like, where do they keep these? Yeah. Next but to the garbage like bags. But that's like a 50-50 if they have them or not. Yeah, with the garbage bags. This is just never a problem for Walmart. You don't ask Walmart that's if true. they have something. You yeah, I had to go to Walmart today. Mm. Because I got to work, and it's and President's I, Day. Like, no, I looked down, and there's a fucking rip in my crotch. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh no, oh, that's not good." Yeah. And so it's lucky that like I sit down for the majority of the day, and like I'm behind a desk, so like people didn't notice. But like as soon as like it's like lunchtime, I'm like, "Well, I know exactly where I'm going." <laughs> so I had to go to Walmart. So I got, I got pants. Nice. I got like white undershirts, a V-neck, obviously. And why? Why undershirts? Was your like, shirt ripped too? All, all my no, all my white undershirts are just like gross and like yellow. Mm, yeah, yeah they, they turn sort of like like a weird off white. Yeah, I don't like so that at all. I don't I don't want that. So I got the the new hotness. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Get a, um, and then I got cat food because Lady Grey likes to eat. Yeah, that's a good idea. In whom I just say no to her. So, I know that we just got back from PAX, but I actually have a grocery store story from last night. Already? They, yeah. yeah that we, went, we went to buy groceries last night because we're like, we have no food and life is hell. Um, so, we went to the grocery store and the lady in front of us looked like a normal lady, right? She was like, hey, just... I don't like how you're setting this Well, up. because what happens afterwards is abnormal. So, the grocery okay. store we go to has a rewards program that I need to set up very, very simply in order for you to understand why what she did is basically a war crime. So, when you if you have a loyalty card with the grocery store, you get cheaper 
goods. Like, you get the sale price on goods. If you don't, if you go, ah, I don't really want the card, then you get the normal price on goods. So it, it ends up saving you maybe like 10 bucks a grocery trip to have this card. And you collect points. And the points are basically worthless, but sometimes there's sales that are like, hey, for, uh, you know, if you give us a thousand points, then this loaf of bread is free instead of it costing you like a dollar ninety nine or something Your like that. It's so complicated. Mine is just you get a discount on Thursdays. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then like you you pay them in April and you have to give them an itemized list of all the food you've consumed over the winter season. No. All right. Well, no, anyway, the well, long to... long story short, we gave them like a. Uh, well, we th th that's not even how I meant to start the story. Long story short, we're waiting in line. And then um, this lady in front of us looks like a normal lady. And she goes, hey, I forgot my card, but I, like, really want to get the sale prices. Can I borrow yours? And I was like, ah, that sounds like a little, like, it sounds good, but, like, a little suspicious. So I was just like, ah, we're fine. Basically not my problem that you forgot your card. You just said, no, we're fine? <laughs> Which is selfish. So I, I recognize that, but then she's like, I would really like to get the sale price on the card. And I was like, okay, explain this to me one more time. And uh, she explained it, and I was like, so you're just going to take our card, you're going to give it to that lady, and then um, you're going to get the sale price, then you're going to give us back the card. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, all right, you know what? I misinterpreted you at first, that sounds fine. So I gave her the card. She's up there getting her shit scanned. And then the cashier, as they do with this card, goes like, hey, you know, she scans, like, some potatoes. And she goes, do you want to use your points for these potatoes? <gasps> no. The implication being, you know, if you use, like, a thousand points, you're going to get a dollar off these potatoes. She I'll thinks think about it, and I'm looking at her. I'm looking right <laughs> There's into the... There's no thinking in this. The window of her soul. <laughs> she thinks about it. And I was just like, you know, maybe she's running on autopilot. And she's used to saying yes. She goes, ah, no, 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 no. And I was like, yeah, you're fucking right, no. Those are our <laughs> points. We're going to use those in like 10 years to, you know, go see a Canucks game or something. And then, so I'm like, this lady's pretty good, right? Like two minutes later, she's yet. scanning like a loaf of bread. And then the lady goes, so you want to use your points on the bread? And she goes, well, how much would it save? And the cashier goes, oh, it'll be like a dollar off. And she goes, yeah, use the points. And I was like, what? world is this you actually if you had done it in the heat of the moment and then later been like no i apologize and that's one thing you thought about the question and became a worse person later it actually blew me away in terms of like my my faith in humanity what did you say to her did i didn't say like, anything so oh, i was like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna fight this fucking were you stunned I was I was stunned is one way to put it. I I never expected in a million years she would say yes to the second one after saying no to the first one and doing the right thing. I I'm a very quiet person. I let a lot of things slide. I don't think I could let that slide. It was Well, but there's also the awkwardness of having to admit you gave her your card in front of the checkout person. That was very minor in my mind, but I'm not going to lie, it was there. I was like, is this okay? That would have been the thing that stopped me if anything, cuz I'd have to admit <laughs> to a wrongdoing then. So where I've fallen on that is that first this lady's a fucking shithead. She knew she had you. Yeah, she's she's a total bitch. And she is actually going to cause me to lose faith in humanity. So this is why when people are like, hey, you know, somebody with uh, smells like a freaking uh, 40 of old English says hi to you on the street. Why don't you respond to them, you asshole? You're being so judgmental. This is why this doesn't happen, okay? And this, the, the second thing that I want to point out is that this lady has now made me into a bad person. Because after that, she had like a 15-minute negotiation with the cashier. Because there's now, you have to pay five cents for plastic bags here. Um, so she was like, you know, I'd really like some bags, but I don't want to pay for them. And then the cashier was what like... What's the matter with this? I don't know, she's crazy, awful. dude! <laughs> and then she, um... The cashier was like, oh yeah, you don't have to pay for plastic bags. If you just buy... Just take it off the cart. Well, if you just buy those reusable <laughs> bags over there... Then you don't have to pay for plastic bags. She's like, how much are the reusable bags? And she's like, well, 99 cents. She's like, I don't think you're understanding me. I would really like some bags, but I don't want to pay for them. This lady was crazy. And I would feel like, I would feel worse about it if her cart was like, you know, four candy bars and like cigarettes or something like that. But she had like, like food for a family in her cart that she paid for on a credit card. So I don't I don't understand this lady's. She's posted on R Frugal. She's probably like a fucking mod over there, you know. Just 
Here's, here's a life pro tip for you. Want to save like eight bucks on your groceries? Just ask someone else for the card out of the goodness of their heart and then use their points to get a cheap loaf of bread. <laughs> Anyway, that's my grocery story, and uh, I've lost like all faith going, in humanity. I like move on. I got a, a grocery store anecdote. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. go for it. Yeah. Dude at the uh, by the front of the door with a table. I don't know what he's selling, but he's got something. <laughs> you watch him eyeing up everybody as he goes in and out. I parked and I was just Wait, watching. He's him. going like, in What's... and out. No, no, he's watching people going in and out because he's trying to think about how hard he wants to pitch them, and he's like, "Do I go for that one? Do I go <laughs> in out hard?" <laughs> Exactly. So I'm I'm watching his face, and he's looking at certain people and not other people. I'm trying to figure out how do I become one of these people he doesn't watch. <laughs> right? So the technique seemed to be, if you go in with two or three people at a time, it, it mind floods him. He has nothing to say about it because he can't catch one. Excuse me, sir, could you spare some money for the Salvation Army? <laughs> no. That's what not an how, asshole. how anxiety works. All my concern was is don't get in a conversation with this person no matter what. I waited until there were three other people coming to the door so I could merge. Oh no! <laughs> Nick. Oh honey. What were you doing before those three <laughs> There's people? There's a twist! There's a twist! He didn't get me on the way in, but he got me on the way out. Which makes less sense because I have my hands full and there were people everywhere. What was this guy thinking? What were you thinking? Yeah. I don't want to get in a conversation with somebody. It's not a conversation, though. Isn't it just like, no thank you or no? It, I got to disappoint him. I hate disappointing people. <laughs> he, he gets disappointed <laughs> every five seconds. He's not going to take it back. I don't like doing it. It makes me feel bad. What was he peddling? I don't know. I didn't look. What, he but he, he talked to you at the people. end, though. He, he went to get my attention. I said, hey. And then I kept walking. You said, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, he kind of mumbled too, like, which made it even stupider, because I don't know what he was trying to sell, and he didn't speak clearly. So I just said, hey, and then kept walking, and that was that. <laughs> I hate that as much as the next guy, but there's a point where you just gotta be like, no, and then you walk away, you know? I didn't have to say no, because I didn't know what he was selling. Look, I don't agree with my answer. Yeah, neither does Chad. Friends, <laughs> friends is awful, but I assume chat, because the way that chat talks about friends. Well, it was 39%. Okay. When we were in the grocery store yesterday, they were playing, they played the entire Friends theme song. And I was like, it felt like cheating on a TV show. It was really weird. It's like, am I allowed to hear this whole song? <laughs> there was, there's a second verse. I mean, that's just, it is a song and it's not just the Friends theme song. I know. I don't like it. Yeah. It feels on that. It's like seeing your teacher out at the mall or something. Like hearing the second verse of that song is not right. I actually probably hate Friends with a passion. It's not I'm that saying. bad. I really, really yeah, dislike okay. it. I was I at uh, the grocery store yesterday, and it's kind of like a... It's not a high-end grocery store. Let's put it nicely. So they had all these, like, Yoplait mini yogurts, and they were not organized the way that they would probably like them to be. So instead of saying, like, mini go, they all said, Migi no. And I was like, Migo, Migo. This week, I went to the grocery store. It's it's renowned as an expensive grocery store. You may know it by the name Whole Foods, or as I call it, Whole Paycheck. <laughs> you heard that one before? It was. No, I haven't actually heard that one before. Oh, okay, well. Can you just like throw? It? All right, Austin, throw your head over it. I did throw my head. You just die. They won't no, let me. Austin, just th Austin, don't listen to no, him. He's lying. Don't just throw your head over it. Six It'll chicken breasts. I went to pick them up. Six chicken breasts. 14. What the fuck? There's an Dude. anecdote here. It requires audience participation. We're just sick of your shit. Well, you're trying to beat the level in a way that it can't even be done. And instead of being able to get some satisfaction out of it, I'm just focusing on the fact that I no figured one's it paying out. attention. I think I beat that work. Well, the thing is, I went to the grocery store. I thought it was worth noting. Six chicken breasts were $48. 48 dollars 48 dollars I wouldn't Wait, have brought no, up the story if they were like 20 it was $48 for six chicken breasts, and I said that's no. That's a little bit too much. I said that's too far. $48 Canadian, so like 40, probably a 41 were, American. No GMO, free range. They were, they were, they were hipster chicken breasts. All Everything. Like Even said, with that in mind, 20 tops. That's I would, nuts. I would, I would pay $4 a chicken breast and be relatively okay with it. Four Canadian dollars. But 
This was this was too much. Which is why I had that garbanzo bean discussion on Twitter. Because I was like, well, instead of having chicken salads, I guess we'll just have, like, chickpea salads. And you know what? Great decision. It's been working out well. Roasted some chickpeas last night. They're delicious. We, Kate awesome. and I, before, and, you know, again, there's no way to, like, talk about this without coming across like you're stigmatizing mental illness. But, like, it's a lot of homeless people in Vancouver. I'm yeah. sure Rob can relate. And I yeah. don't know. I don't know how it is in Pittsburgh. Is but he I assume, homeless? Yeah, I'm homeless <laughs> in Vancouver right now. But like when we were at we were at the grocery store, we <laughs> left the grocery store and there was just a dude outside and he was shouting, "I'm going to become a fucking beast." And then we were like, Whoa. "All right, dude." And <laughs> then so awesome. he's like, "Wait until you see what happens. Canada <laughs> is my dominion." And we're like, "What I, like what can you do?" Like, <laughs> Did he become a beast? Did you see? We walked away as fast as we could. Oh, I didn't no. want to see what happened. What if you just missed it? Yeah, dude, you missed him beast. You should have checked out the Hunter's Dream and seen what, uh, what they had to say about it. Ryan wouldn't know about the Hunter's Dream. I, the Hunter's Dream is like the first area <laughs> in Blood Hunt. I forgot to tell you, because someone in chat just said uh, fans of Norm MacDonald. Uh, this is an, it's another grocery store anecdote, and I apologize for that, but uh, Kate and I were at the grocery store, and look, I'm not going to bullshit you. We're making juice money. So we were at the juice bar at the grocery store, getting a couple of juices. And this dude was sitting at the counter next to us. And he was talking to the dude making the juice. And it was clear that they have a rapport with each other, right? Like they, but like it really felt like the guy oh, making. I get it. The a guy rapport because he's pouring juice. Okay. Right, yeah. <laughs> but the guy making the juice, I don't think really was a big fan of the guy who was talking to him. He was just kind of making polite conversation. But the dude literally just stole a Norm McDonald joke and repeated it like 900 times <laughs> like the juice guy didn't understand the joke. He was like, yeah, you're working pretty hard back there, Marty. I want to mention, apropos of nothing at all, he said that. He said, yeah, you know, I've been working hard too. I've been consuming way too much workahol. And then the guy was kind of like, ha, ha, ha. And he's like, yeah, I really need to cut down on my workahol consumption and like everyone was just kind of like yeah i get it hilarious because you you know you're a workaholic i get it and he just kept going like get it i'm a workaholic i've been consuming too much workahol and we hilarious. were all like i just want a meteor to strike you <laughs> and only you dead instantly <laughs> you might want lightning for that it's much more specifically targeted I'll, right I'll on take the forehead. What oh wow! <laughs> Burst. Wow! Yeah, feel the juice. Secret Barbara. Beep, 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 beep. Still not How Barbara. skinny was he? I feel like people are trying to imply that he's a drug user of some sort. Is there a drug that makes you repeat jokes <laughs> over and over? <laughs> Uh, it's called Adderall, and uh... oh, maybe okay. Or cocaine. It's called Adderall. Yeah. Uh, it's called Adderall. It's called Workahol. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> you set that one up for me. Wow, oh, man, that's a really not, awkward. This is not wow. possible at all now. What My bad. <laughs> I'm in the lava. See ya. I'm just picturing like the opposite of that now, where there's a guy who's desperately. He doesn't know the name for alcohol, but he's <laughs> issuing a cry for help to his friend and wondering why it always falls on deaf ears. Like, yeah, I've really been drinking a lot of workahol oh. lately. It's it's really bad. Like, it's destroying my life. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. No, really. Like, I have a problem with workahol. I, my liver is the size of a watermelon. And he just needs help, but everyone keeps telling him to shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, everyone goes, I okay. get it, dude. You got, everybody's got problems. <laughs> Good one. So how did that end? Did you oh, just yeah, I cut down on my workahol consumption. <laughs> we got, it ended, we got our juice, and then I didn't tell anybody about the story until just now. Mm -hmm. That was like at least six like, days ago, somewhere in there. You just like, every time you go to the store, it's like something has to happen to you. It's I, ordained. I'm very oh. lucky, I guess, that we live in a city with colorful characters. I'm, I'm glad that we're talking about ham today, because I, I do feel that it's an underappreciated meat, uh, meat group. Ham uh, uh, okay. meat group. Uh, <laughs> ham. I, I this might be the first time I've ever purchased a ham mm -hmm. at the uh, at the grocery store. 
normally if I was getting ham, it would be from the deli to begin with. But or sometimes people will serve you ham. But I didn't realize yeah. it kind of freaked me out that you can just buy like a log of ham and it's pre cooked. Like it, it just mm -hmm. conjured an image that somewhere out there there is probably a man. Let's be honest. Eating, like slicing off a big chunk of cold ham for dinner and being like, happy Wednesday. <laughs> well, I mean, they sell ham steaks, right? Which are, you know, essentially that. It's just like a thick, basically deli meat ham that you can fry in a pan for whatever reason. Breakfast, I suppose. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I don't know, man. Like, if you give me a choice between... It depends on the deli meat ham, because if you go... You get, like, the really cheap cut of deli yeah. meat ham. It's that, like, discolored... Sli yeah, no, and, and then uh, that's definitely a no. There's no way. But, I mean, you give me, like, some slices of Virginia ham, then this is arguable, but I still would say... I would still would take an, uh, a honey-baked ham at it, fresh out of the oven any day of the week. I don't know why I don't like ham. Like, I just thought about it. I was like, why Why do I not like ham? It doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't have a bad texture. But I just don't, I don't like it. I think it's I like, like it. sweet meat. It's, it is sweet. And it's also mm -hmm. maybe the worst cured pork product. Is it, I, I like ham, but I can't think of, it. I can't think of a version of a pork product that's worse tasting than ham. Hmm. A cured what pork other pro product, at least. Name like, me some pork products. Well, Hold like, on. obviously, you know, you got, like, bacon, salami, mm -hmm. uh, what's, what's the... Cilantro. Cilantro, of course. Yeah. That's a good character. <laughs> guy who thinks cilantro is a pork product. <laughs> yeah, I like that guy. He's pretty good. <laughs> Pig feet? Yeah, but, I mean, that's kind of, like, within reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like... Sure, yeah, probably like fermented pig ear is probably worse than ham, or like if you just <laughs> ate like pig urine or something, sure, but we live in North America, we don't consume that stuff, all we consume are derivatives of corn products, like normal people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's right. Anyway, the other, I, I went to the grocery store yesterday, I only got two anecdotes, that was one. And now I got this whole fucking ham, so I cut like two slices off to make a breakfast sandwich with this morning. I got another like half a kilo of ham log, I, I don't even really want, but that, I digress, there's bigger problems on planet Earth. The other that's, one. That's, that's a it's your own fault problem, I think. First time I've ever seen this at the grocery store, individually wrapped beef bones to make stock with. Literally Ooh. just a single beef bone wrapped in plastic that was like 91 cents. Honestly, that sounds kind of good. Dumb knife. I am with Austin on this one. Sorry, Rob. It's dumb. I think, I mean, it's dumb, but it sounds kind of good. <laughs> You're going to buy one beef bone? Is it, how much is the beef bone? Just it's buy less than a beef dollar. bone in it and get two for the price of one. You, exactly. It's less than a dollar, though. Yeah, but it's also just a bone. I have another anecdote, and it, its existence is just the lack of there being an anecdote. I went to okay. the grocery store yesterday, and almost nothing noteworthy happened. That Whoa. is amazing. I will say, but inside you of this... say almost nothing. Well, <laughs> it, inside of the grocery store, there's, a, there's like a juice place. So okay. Kay was like, do you want some juice? And I was like, yeah, I'll take some juice. I ordered the juice. Lady behind the juice counter is very distracted, didn't ask for our names. Came back in like five minutes. I don't see any juices. I'm like, hey, I'm waiting on these juices. She's like, yeah, someone took them. Uh, can you give me your name so it doesn't happen again? And I was like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to. <laughs> Satan. Uh, but yeah, they, and then it just, someone had taken our juices, apparently. That's rude. Which I that really thought been... that was not my job to sort out, but I might be mistaken. <laughs> that might have been me, <laughs> actually. In, in I... The, I told you guys yesterday that we, we took a sandwich by accident, right? Did it have a That's name on it? <laughs> well, no, it was, it was ours, but like we what? just didn't pay for what? it. How does that oh, happen? Okay, How? we went to we went to we were going down. There, there was an Oban Pain in the yeah, okay. Oban Pan. <laughs> Oban Pain. Yeah, Obama. it's it's P A I N. I don't I don't speak the goddamn surrender monkey language. But anyway, so um, <laughs> so so anyway, uh, we got two coffees and a sandwich, right? Yeah. Okay, got the sandwich, got the two coffees. Now, in fairness to me, I tried to pay at the counter, but they didn't let you do that at the place where they have the computer 
to pay, they say you got to go over to the other side of the place to to pay. Ah, oh, yes, the other so side. So by of the, the place. time, yeah. So by the time we got the sandwich, the sandwich is done. We were deciding to leave, and we just accidentally just left. Accidentally on purpose? Just a gun? No, I remembered like, like much later on. I realized much later. I was like. How much was that sandwich? Oh, we didn't pay on, for, for the it. price of the uh, on the house. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I had a grocery store anecdote for the first time because I remember it happening. I was like, Yeah, because it's the first time you've ever been to a grocery store. Exactly. <laughs> no. I was like, Man, I finally have something to tell the NLSS, and I never told it, and it was like two months ago. Get fucked, Rob. And <laughs> I, I forgot. And <laughs> I remember that like. 30% of the details. It had to do with someone else's items and the cashier asking me about them, but I don't remember the series of events that happened anymore. I just know that I was very <laughs> flustered with what she did. We have a, a great story. There's almost yeah. like I have a passive grocery store story that I don't think I've ever told, but okay. probably about 25% of the time I go to the grocery store by myself. Uh, Kate has these like breakfast drinks that she likes, and I, I always mm. buy like a case of them, and then the person running the cash will look at one and be like, huh, are these good? And I have to run through the internal <laughs> routine of like, do I just lie and say, oh yeah? Or do I tell the story of, oh, my wife really likes them? Or do I just say, I don't know? Like, I don't understand really what it comes down to in the end. So usually I just go, yeah, I like them. <laughs> that happened good. to me for the first time. I was, I was grabbing coffee creamer and a lady was like, is that good? I was like, <laughs> Like, nah, I'm buying it because it fucking sucks. Yeah, right? I just like, I was like, yeah, I like it. <laughs> she didn't end up taking it, so. I guess yeah. I wasn't trustworthy enough. No, I mean, sometimes it's just easier to lie to strangers. Do you ever uh, have the time to, to listen, listen to yeah. me one? Uh, do you ever think that because you kind of have like a public image now, like you feel a lot of pressure to be <gasps> nicer in public? No. I, no? Why, no? Why wouldn't I be well, nice? I'm, no, no, no. I'm I mean, nice that's the thing. Like, I, so am I. It's not like I'm going into it. <laughs> I'm never the guy who, like, you know, goes into a coffee shop and is like, oh, my macchiato's got too much, you know, blah, you know? But the what? You know, ex I, I, can't much much come come up, I can't even come up with anything because I'm, I'm too nice. But I will say, like, I do, you know, everybody has bad days from time to time. And sometimes if I'm out, I'm like, I gotta put on a happy face because it's like, what if somebody recognizes me? And, and uh, I'm gonna oh. be like, oh, sorry, I don't really wanna. What happened really to you know. not being narcissistic? I'm not a narcissist. It happens. Oh. It, I don't get recognized <laughs> regularly, but it's like, irregularly, it does what? happen. Boy, I oh, do have a story you. about when I ran into Northern Lion at the grocery store. You'll never <laughs> believe what happened. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a very common <laughs> copy pasta. About uh, electrical inveterants, <gasps> and I was like, "This is really funny to make up this about other people." And then people would post it about me, and uh, some people would be like, "Whoa, is this real?" And I'd be like, "Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> I hate the internet." It's, it's fake news. I did not go to the grocery store, shove a hundred Milky Ways in my pocket, and then wink at the person who recognized me on the way out. That is a, a fabrication. Sounds like something that you do, though. <laughs> no, it does. Well, maybe like a few years ago, but not now. I got too much to lose now. What, what do you have to lose? Hoppy, you going to go? Oh, the respect of the Milky Ways. community. <laughs> yeah, and also all the Milky Ways I've stolen. Milky Ways are the worst chocolate, so it's just... Yeah, I hate Milky Ways, personally. I've actually never had a Milky Way. What <laughs> the? Oh. Stop well, stealing that Example. <laughs> <laughs> So I was at the grocery store yesterday. Oh, here we let's hear it. it it's not really that uh, unusual of an anecdote, but you may have seen I took a picture of uh, like all these cowboy romance novels. Yeah, I saw that. They were not organically arranged like that. So I did spend oh, about I like I, I spent maybe two or three minutes grabbing all of the cowboy love books and then putting them next to one another on the shelf. And look, it was like 11.15, so nobody else was in the book aisle of the grocery store, but uh, 
Yeah, I, I was a little self-conscious at the time, to be honest with you. It's like when you go to the arts and crafts store and you, you arrange all the random weird letter templates to say Ryan, and then you take a picture uh, with it. <laughs> you know, you say Ryan there, but I don't know. I don't know if I've ever done that one. Oh, man. Do you think that the people that should be euthanized are the ones that separate bananas at the grocery store? I don't You're not like allowed to do that, right? You're not supposed to be allowed. Well, they come in a they come in like a plastic plastic bag. Well, no, no they no. they're bunched. They're just open. Yeah, it's Ryan. an open bunch. What you see, maybe like there's ah! six in one in one bunch, and you're like, I don't want six. You... Four, and then you can cut you... two out. I can't. <laughs> I can't get. Don't need to give up. Now that's the real trap right there. My least favorite grocery store people are the people who cut a, or rip a carton of eggs in half to take six eggs instead of twelve. That is very frustrating, yeah, I don't like that. No. What about when people get... who take two vegetables that are the same price and put them in the same bag? <gasps> what is that? Ooh, that's. I, I think there's I think nothing that... wrong with that. I think there is something wrong with that. Before, I didn't think so, but now that I'm older, I'm like, that's gotta be fucking their inventory system up. If you're taking- uh, They're weighing they it as to, like a they pound- They them in individually. Not if they're in the same bag. If they're in the same bag, they still see there's two different vegetables and they key them in. What, they manually go like, ah, there's about half a pound of red potatoes in this bag of russets. No, they have, a, they have a scale. No. Yeah, Wait, if they've I got the same know. price, then why would that fuck up their about. inventory? Because they think they've got more red potatoes than they do or less red potatoes than they do. Are you talking about a, a branded sealed package of no, something? No, I'm talking about you got, a you got a box of potatoes. You got yeah, a and yellow you take flesh. a plastic, pl empty plastic bag, you can see into it, put your potatoes in, also put a lime in. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> they can see what's in that. They're not the computer, though. <laughs> the computer doesn't handle That's a skew. They see the skew, and they have a little roll of all the specific skews, and then they type in the ones that they need for the vegetables. It doesn't. How does the scale know what percentage of the weight is a potato <gasps> and what percentage is a lime? You know what I mean? That no! doesn't matter because they're the same price. But it, it, it does matter for, like, the purposes of purchasing more fruits and vegetables from your suppliers, right? Take the lime out. Put it in a separate bag. <laughs> now we're on the same page. I mean, I, I don't do this, but I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be, like, a world-ending situation. I agree it's not a world-ending situation. I'm just like, I think it makes the grocery store, it makes their life harder. You might be right. Maybe they end up buying two less potatoes. It's not a big deal, but I'm just saying. Because I've thought about it in the past. It saves a bag. You yeah. Know, it'd save, save a bag, save the world, but... Right. Save the cheerleader. Bags are illegal in the UK. Dude, they're getting... Uh, in Vancouver, All they're pretty bags. much in the same uh, category here. The idea of carrying things in something is illegal. I gotta, I'm with Nick. I went to the grocery store this afternoon. I have no anecdotes. Zero <laughs> I know, anecdotes. I sometimes it's just normal. Well, the, here's the as close as it comes to an anecdote, right? Uh, I've been eating a lot of lox lately, mm. and I enjoy it, but I've never ordered it at the fish counter. I've only gotten stuff that's been prepackaged and placed there, but there was none today. So I went, and I snapped into lunch meat mode, and I was like, give Whoa. me 400 grams of lox. And then Lock she in. opened her mm. eyes like, are you out of your mind? Like, do you want to <laughs> get mercury poisoning? And then I was like, wait a minute, give me 200 grams of lox. Mm. And she was like, yeah, that's right. Did she physically stop you from ordering it, or did you actually realize I I that? realized how much locks that would be. <laughs> and the fact that I was I was running the numbers, I was like, it's like $22 of locks. I don't That's want that. That's a lot of locks. Yeah. yeah. So I had I got 200 grams of locks instead. I try never to spend more than $10 on deli meat at one point. I, I think that's completely acceptable. Tell me about your bicycle riding. Like, do you ride like on like the streets of Van? Vancouver, or are you like going Nature on trails? trails? Dude, we're super lucky. So like Vancouver is like an extremely bike friendly city because it's run exclusively by rich hippies, which is like the best demographic I think for cycling. So mm -hmm. right along uh, basically like the Pacific Ocean, there's a, a bike path that just goes for like 50 kilometers. And you can you can take it as long you, as you, you want. You bike 50 kilometers? I don't ride 50 kilometers, but you could ride it 50 kilometers if you wanted That sounds to. really nice. That's like three miles, man. That's a long time. <laughs> Is that by that beach you took me to? 
Uh, you could, yeah, you could, you could ride it up there in English Bay. That place sure. is so pretty. It goes all the way around, like, it goes downtown, it goes all the way out west to, like, the pier, like, the edge of mainland Canada and the Pacific Ocean, it goes around Stanley Park up at the top. It's great. That sounds nice. Sounds really nice. I'm I, jealous. I, I also, that. and I didn't take a picture of him because I, you have to respect, Chad, that as a public figure, I can't just go around taking candids of viral video celebrities and then posting it on Twitter later because it's <laughs> going to give me labeled as a creepazoid. But when I was at the grocery store, I saw John Sockers, who you may know as the guy, and I apologize for my language here, he made the video that's like, you know, he, wa he wants to lick your vegan vagina. <laughs> he, oh, what? You He's tofu you open for business. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Was he what? open for business at the time? If you eat hamburgers, close for business. For business. Meat substitute hamburgers, open, for, <laughs> open business. for business. He was at Whole Foods, and he was literally, there was no doubt in my mind that it was him. Because first I saw him, and I was like, that's fucking John Sockers. And then I looked at his shirt, and his shirt said <laughs> vegan on the shirt. And I was like, that, that's a guy who's not trying to hide who he is. But I didn't if say hello. If you eat animal products, I am close for business. <laughs> what? Yeah. I love wow. that guy. He's he's basically I like, heard them like he's, that. look, I don't I don't want to be insulting to the guy, but he's like a militant vegan more or less, and he makes YouTube content around vegan culture, which uh, for a long time was him pretending to perform oral oh sex God, on a series of thing. vegetables. So he really has the thing about like people want his body. Yeah. At, because he's so vegan, every woman wants him. Yeah, he has Probably like a, that's his as thing. hard as possible. He has kind of like a he, he thinks it gives him like a powerful ah. sexual energy or something. <laughs> Max power. But yeah, I saw and I I, I kept looking for him throughout the store too. Oh I wasn't God. gonna say hi. <laughs> the reason I wasn't gonna say hi to him is because, to be honest, like I kind of I kind of think his, his shtick is a little bit yeah. like I'm not a Please. real fan of him. Tell me you saw his groceries. Uh, I did not look in his in his. Oh, oh, you're killing me. In his cart. I also if he had a hamburger. I would have lost my mind. I'm not like a troll in real life, so I had like a <laughs> cart full of smoked salmon, and I wasn't gonna go up to him and be like, "Hey there, famous oh, vegan." Yeah. He would have cracked your skull. How do you feel half. about this right here? But yeah, and then he was behind me in line, and I was like, "John Sockers is behind me in line." <laughs> it was crazy. I'm stupid. <laughs> Anyway, that, I was literally starstruck when I saw him in the store. It made the whole trip worthwhile. I'm it was starstruck. apparently impactful enough he had to send me a Skype message right after. I did. That. I said, Nick, I saw a vegan vagina man <laughs> at the store. His energy and aura turned me vegan. <laughs> you gave the salmon back. I gave the salmon back, yeah. It just magnetically attracted back to the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, no, he, he, he went to the ocean just to set them free. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's nice. Oh yeah, he couldn't have cracked his skull because he's an egg and he wouldn't crack an egg. That's, That's right. True. That's very true. <laughs> I had a grocery store anecdote, but it's mostly just me being mad. Like, I went to the grocery store deliberately last night at like 10 p.m. And there was an enormous lineup and everybody was having the same kind of conundrum. They were like, why is there this huge friggin' lineup right now? It's weird. I was like, I know. But that's, that's the I end of that. Dude, can I, I have a grocery store anecdote of the mildest variety for you, but I still want to bring it up. The softer, okay. the better. At the grocery store yesterday, I was in line. Uh, I chose to get behind a lady who had, uh, like, a bag of almonds. That was her only thing. So I was okay. like, this is the right line. Perfect, for yeah. For me yeah. to be in. No question about it. Paying with a um, check. <laughs> no, 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 no. She was innocent. Oh. She was also rolling her eyes at the lady in front of her, oh. who is maybe the craziest person I've ever seen in my life. She bought a pineapple and then like 20 grapefruits and then like <laughs> okay. loose grapefruits that she just like rolled on the conveyor belt no That's adorable. or anything. And then when the cashier was like, that'll be like $45 because, you know, grapefruit is a fairly yeah. it's a primo fruit, right? Yeah, um, I guess so. She was she was like, oh, my God, really? OK, <laughs> well, I only want these six grapefruits then. Oh, my God. She didn't know what and they cost. Uh, she just bought a she ton didn't of know them. what grapefruits cost. She, she, she loves them, 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 but doesn't yeah. know what they're what they're worth. And anyway, <laughs> so she uh, she's like, I only want these six then. And the lady, the cashier was like, are you really going to make me 
<laughs> go through all of this again and then drop off 14 grapefruits. And she's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it took like 20 minutes to check out. Yeah, that sounds terrible. I don't like and that. And there's no other line? The other line had a lady, and I made this decision when I got in line. There was a middle-aged woman in the other line who was going, could you scan that again? I think oh. it's supposed to be on sale. And I went, Psh, I'm not getting in that line. Yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's a high maintenance customer. Instead, I got in line with the almonds lady. And then when the almonds lady got up, they were like, hey, do you have a rewards card? And she was like, no, but can I get one? And I was like, I'm going to... <laughs> no, fucking mine. But then that only took like two seconds, so it all it all worked all right. out. <laughs> so many times I've bought stuff from those places, because like every grocery store has a rewards card now. Yeah. Yep. Right? And they're like, uh, do you have the rewards card? Because the discount is like, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm always like, no, I don't. But can I get the discount anyway? And they're like, <laughs> they do that? Yeah. 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 And most oh of the time God. they're like, yeah, that's true. You're Why a not? genius. Hey, that's cool. I didn't Dude, know you could do that. Mine has the yeah. perfect scam. It's an app that nobody wants to get, requires your phone number and a bunch of personal information, mm, yeah. then only pays out with discounts once every quarter, which you have to redeem on their website. Yeah, that's terrible. So no one's going <laughs> to take the rewards and they're going to keep all of them and they get to look like they're big fancy people. Dude, I had a, a food anecdote. I accidentally Ooh, okay. bought the worst tortilla I've ever had in my life uh, yesterday. Was I it was, corn? Huh? Uh, it was not corn. It's a brown rice tortilla. Oh, so, I understand. Oh, Those are I, awful. I knew going in that it might not be great, but it was the only tortilla at the grocery store in the size that I wanted. So I bought it, despite it you know, not That's necessarily cool. looking that good. They came frozen as well, which was like, you know, immediately bad. But I was like, it's the only tortilla the right size. And then I made like a wrap today. And as soon as I rolled it, it ripped in half. And then I basically oh. just had like a weird wrap sandwich, and it was just like it was like eating wrapping paper. Yeah, it sounds pretty bad. It, it was I have not the good. beer CD though. I mean, <laughs> coworker, yeah, I uh, play it I wherever you want. In Saskatchewan, when he's waiting in uh, grocery stores, and they have, you know how they have, like magazines and stuff at the front, he'll just take one out and like look for any recipes and he just takes photos with this oh my god <laughs> hilarious dude i i was actually talking to kate about that last time we were at the grocery store there are some magazines that i do not believe they've survived print media apocalypse like literally the grocery store cooking magazines are like slow cooker quarterly and you're like, really <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that that's got a time limit though right like that's like when when the generation that is still buying that dies that's when that ends i don't yeah. know man no 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 he's right yeah like who that no one above a certain age or below a certain age buys those right you're telling yeah, me maybe? that nobody in our demographic is buying On simply the the food i got a i got a food thing to bring up i've previously been of the opinion that hard shell tacos are underrated okay. and a lot of people thought up. I was crazy. No, you're yeah. not. But then our grocery store stopped stocking the oh, no. really good locally made hard shell taco yeah. shells and I started having the like I tried them like a month ago and I was like, "Oh, these taste like stale tortilla chips." And then mm. I tried a different brand uh last night and I was like, "You know what?" These also taste like stale tortillas. <laughs> I'm realizing no, I, I, that I might have just been spoiled by my first couple of you have hard a good shell brand. tacos. Yeah. Be... Why have a hard shell taco when you can just have a tostada yeah, instead? Nice Do we? I live in Canada. Canada. Different... <laughs> Double good point. <laughs> the ice caps are are closer than authentic <laughs> Mexican food. <laughs> I don't even know what a tostada is. It's a hard oh, shell taco, but it's just like a pancake. Oh, it's like flat okay. And circle. Mm. You can make hard shell tacos if you just buy some tortillas and deep fry them. Yeah, I'm definitely or, not gonna do not that though. <laughs> or just make get the the corn stuff. What's it called? Uh, masa, masa, and then you you press it. Definitely yeah. not gonna do that. Either, no, I know but, that. <laughs> but yeah. I Yo, I've got realize. some masa in my house right now. Actually, how did that happen? I, you know, I think it was accidentally ordered, so now we have masa. Don't Did you really... mean to get maize instead? I, well, that's what the Indians called it, but I'm not so sure. It's there's a huge difference. So now I understand the hard shell taco ambivalence. There you go. 
It's good. But yeah, I mean, the the old El Paso ones. Yeah. All right. I mean, that, they don't do it uh, justice. Yards. Well, I mean, last time I had old El Paso and I was like, this is pretty bad. So then I was at the grocery store yesterday and it was between old El Paso and Western Family, which is like... I don't know. What's the the Walmart brand is called like Great Value or something? Mm -hmm. It's basically oh, yeah. that for this grocery store. And I was like, ah, like Old El Paso is definitely bad. Maybe Western Family is good, and it was not. <laughs> what about Modern Family? Can you get the Modern Family brand? Well, uh, they tasted like Modern Family. Uh, like they've <laughs> been there for. 12 years <laughs> growing stale <laughs> and yet i don't know where i'm going i mean it was a good effort you know honestly. yeah bland and a decade old that's a much better way to put it thank you you know i got a bone to pick with men's fragrances what if i don't want to smell like wood i feel like that's i mean it we were at the grocery store the other day i needed some new uh soap Walk into yep. the aisle, and you got two choices. You got Old Spice, which, you know, doesn't bother me. It's just soap at the end of the day. And then anything that's, like, in the price bracket that's one over that is, like, cedarwood, sandalwood, fresh lumber, mahogany, and old scotch bottles. And I'm like, well, it's... I don't want to smell like lumber. It's supposed to be appealing to the opposite sex, but I always wear cologne. I like the smell, and I'm mm. wondering, like, yeah. is this even helping? Because I like it, you know? <laughs> You're also married. You don't have to impress anybody. Well, yeah, but she likes when I smell nice too. Yeah, I don't. That's I don't know if that's a healthy attitude. Well, then let her. Let her I'm just joking. <laughs> Ask her. She what. hates Old Spice. Mm. Yeah, and I love it. So it's weird. I just I I, because I'm a creature of habit now in my life. I just go to body shop. They got a couple things for guys that come in a tube. It's shampoo, body wash. Like face wash, and only one of them smells like kind of woody. Oh, okay. It's nice, and they're cheap too. And they're like, you get a two if you buy two, you get a third one for free, and it does me for like half a year. You know who else has something nice for guys that comes in a tube? <laughs> Where are we going with this? <laughs> Your dad. <laughs> oh, like a, is this like a tube sock or? <laughs> it's, his, it's, his, oh! it's his penis. It's his, his penis. Yeah. It's his I penis. was going to say something, but then I was like, <laughs> Ouch. But, and then I realized your dad doesn't have a penis. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh. I had to get rid of it after he created you. Yeah, you know, you know stop drilling, you hit oil. Oh, 